Hey there folks, Dr. Dustin Patrick at Rivers End Dental. I wanted to make this video to show you a little bit about our uh, 3D x-ray capabilities. Uh, we use these on most of our patients and it really gives me a lot more information to do the kind of uh, dentistry uh, I want to be able to do, uh, which is thorough and uh, as precise as possible. Um, obviously, most people are going to kind of look at this and say, oh, wow, that's cool, it's a skeleton, and this is really cool. I'm able to see, um, you know, contours of where their teeth are at. I can even see that this tooth is kind of moved up from where it probably was when this person finished their braces. Um, if they didn't like that, we can talk about, okay, we can move that down for you. Um, there's other things that I can see. I can even see the contours of their bone. Now, most people's bone doesn't stick out like this. Um, and so when I look at it, I think, well, maybe this person is a clencher and a grinder. It turns out after I talk to them, they say, yeah, actually, my wife tells me that uh, I clench at night. She looks over at me and can see my jaw muscles pulsating. And uh, so, yeah, well, that, that explains that. So I can start to see different things. Um, some of the things I really mostly am using it for is if I'm going to be doing extraction on that person, if I'm going to be doing a root canal, we're talking about doing implants. And the other thing we can do is screen them for uh, sleep apnea issues, airway problems. I'll show you real quickly the airway. Um, so I have a software in here that will actually go in and measure uh, this space and it will give me a number. And very often I can, if I get that number, I can tell them before they even tell me that, hey, you're a snorer, right? Oh yeah, yeah I'm a snorer. Um, and then we can talk more about sleep apnea, how that affects people's teeth and their overall health. Uh, other thing we might look at is if we're contemplating doing a root canal on somebody, heaven forbid we have to do that, but it happens. Uh, but I'm actually able to go in and look inside. Let's say we're having to do one on this tooth. I can actually go in and say, okay, well, let's let's look at that tooth in uh, three dimensions. So I can actually start to move this through and it actually gives me, starts to give me a 3D look at that tooth. So let's go look at that tooth. Here it is. So I can start from the top of it where the dentist might start to drill into your tooth and oh, there's the nerve there, patient. Oh, sorry, we're gonna do a root canal. So I get into that and I can actually kind of look inside that tooth and I can see, oh, this tooth, it does have an extra canal. Um, that not all molars will have. And so then I know as a dentist, okay, we need to look out for that extra canal so we can make sure we do this root canal completely and we don't have it failing uh, five years down the road. Um, a thing I'll look at is if I'm gonna do an extraction, wisdom teeth or anything like that, I can see where this really important nerve that runs through the jaw, we can see where that's all at. Um, I'm gonna show you another little bit here. Let's see, on a different patient, uh, we can look at some other things. Well, before I do, there was one more thing uh, that, you know, what we can look for is um, strange pathologies or, or things that are kind of um, not quite normal. And so that might allow us to spot something like a cancer or a tumor or something growing um, and catch it earlier. Uh, so, for example, in this person, I don't know if you can see this, this is the person's sinus cavity. And this is their nose, their turbinates of their nose. Well, in their sinus, there's this little protrusion that doesn't quite show up on the other side. Usually in, in, uh, in the body, we like to see symmetry. And so, you know, what is this that's growing? I'm not an ENT. I won't, I won't try and make a diagnosis off of this, but we can definitely talk about a referral or even send it to a radiologist. We can export this and send it to a radiologist to double check it if we're concerned. Uh, so yeah, that, that's pretty handy, pretty nifty. Uh, so okay, here's another uh, patient that we saw, and this person happens to have all 32 teeth, including wisdom teeth, and those wisdom teeth are erupted. Uh, but she was concerned about whether or not she should have her wisdom teeth out, uh, or whether or not she could make it her whole life without having to have them out. So one of the things I want to look at anyways is, okay, if we're talking about pulling your wisdom teeth, is there going to be any damage to the nerve that goes through your jaw? Because if that nerve gets damaged, you can end up with numbness in your lip uh, your whole life. And so we want to look at that. So one thing I can do is I can kind of change my view of this. And so I'm going to go ahead and change it. And this, let's go ahead and zoom in. So this view now lets me see the bone and it lets me see her tissues. I can even see what her chin, the outline of her chin is. Um, some of that, and there's her lips. So I've actually gone in and, and to help you guys see it, I've actually highlighted this nerve that runs through. So on the other side, you don't see it. But if you know what to look for, you can actually see here's that nerve going on this other side. So now that I've got it in three dimensions, I can have a, a look and I can see here is her long roots. And I can see where in relationship to that um, nerve uh, the root tips are. So the nice thing is they're not overlapping, they're not wrapped around, but they are fairly close. Um, so uh, that's super awesome. I, I love being able to go in and, and see in three dimensions uh, because sometimes uh, somebody might have an, an x-ray where it looks like that nerve crosses over and it looks like those nerves, or those roots might wrap around the nerve. But when we can look at it in three dimensions, we can often see that they're actually not even in the same plane. In other words, they look like they're touching, but that's just because we were looking at a two-dimensional image. In this case, I can actually see that there's a space between these two because I can look on the inside looking up. Um, and sometimes there's a very big space and it looked like it was going to be a real um, risky extraction and it turns out that it's not. Um, or sometimes we get surprised the other way where it looked like it was going to be fine and we look at it in three dimensions and we see something um, that we're glad we saw in 3D. So that's another cool feature. Um, so the last thing I'll show you is about implants. So I'm going to go ahead and switch patients again. 
Okay, the last thing I want to show you in this video is one of my favorite things to do uh, with uh, 3D uh, software. It's really fun, uh, is to plan implants for people and to make sure uh, that we plan them precisely and we can end up with what we had in mind from the beginning. So actually, the best way to make a plan is to have the end in mind first. And so we're going to plan what this tooth we're gonna, is going to look like when it's all done. And so I've actually already done all this, so I can plug it in right here, a little a virtual um, representation of what I want this crown to look like about. Um, and so. I also can see this person has chipped their front tooth. Turns out there's more people out there walking around without a front tooth than you know, um, because we do fun things, we ride bikes, we play sports, we get in fights and bars and different stuff that gets our teeth knocked out. Um, hopefully not the bar story, and hopefully it's uh, some awesome jump you were doing on your mountain bike. But whatever it is, we're gonna go ahead and fix this person's tooth. And I've actually already done the, the little uh, filling for this person to fix that chip. And I can show you that because what I've done is we've also made an impression of this person. And this is a model that's now been merged with the 3D X-ray. So I can make sure it's very accurate, very precise. And also I can see, okay, we fixed that chip. And so we're lining everything up correctly. But now that I've done that, I can go in and uh, place my implant according to where I want my end result to be. And I've already done that, of course. So we'll plug the implant. Let's go ahead and look at a different view. These are little slices. In other words, these are where I can see I've got enough space. I'm not um, gonna hit any important nerves or vessels and we can keep this patient safe and have a good successful outcome. So now that I've done that part, I can go in and uh, make a uh, fancy jig that will click into the, the patient's mouth when I go to do the surgery so that everything I just planned um, can be exactly the way I wanted it. And so you'll see I got rid of it, all of the teeth and everything. And so I can actually use this and it will line up my drills precisely to go to the right depth and the right angle so that we don't have any bad surprises uh, when we go to place this uh, patient's implant for them. So that is uh, using 3D printing. And, and this is something that we print here in-house with a 3D printer um, so that we can do that uh, for them quickly. And also I can have some control to make sure it's done just the way I want it to be done. So 3D uh, dentistry is super awesome. It's fun. And uh, it allows us here at Rivers End Dental to take exceptional care of our patients. If you're interested um, in learning more, uh, feel free to reach out. Come on in for a consult. If you need an implant placed or any other care, we're happy to do that for you here at Rivers End Dental. And I hope you have a good one. We can't wait to make you smile.